Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Boy Cosmetics Thermal Neon Gradient and I'm going to do a Unicorn Mani. I started off with Neltix Formula 2 and Stashed Polish Luncheon. And here we go with our first coat of Luncheon. It's a beautiful white cream. It's actually probably one of my favorite whites ever and unfortunately it is no longer being made. We just hope that maker comes back and you know, gets back into making these gorgeous polishes that she was making. I love this polish. It's just one of my favorites. And here we go with our second coat of luncheon. It's a, got a really nice formula. It levels out great. And I'm going to be topping it with some of that Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Get it to dry down. And then we're going to get on into the fun stuff. <laughs> Capping my ends. There we go. Yeah. It's beautiful all on its own. I'll be using this latex that I've decanted in a nail polish bottle. And Boy Cosmetics Strong Neon Pink Girl. And Brave Neon Blue Girl. I've got a cosmetic sponge or cosmetic wedge that I have dampened with water and squeezed out the excess. And I'm going to do a... Um, I'm going to do my gradient up and down instead of, you know, like I normally do. I'm going to just do it a little different. I figured these would look really good together. And since this is the first time I'm loading that sponge up, I'm kind of just going over it a couple more times. I do prefer to dampen my sponge. A lot of people ask if that helps. I believe it does. Um, I think it helps it to not soak up so much of the polish into the sponge. Now, I am not going to waste a lot of your time showing just a ton of this gradient. I am speeding this up and just showing you on my thumb, but I am doing all of the nails the same way. There we go, loading that sponge up again. I don't remember how many rounds of this I did. Three, four, I don't know. I wasn't counting. And now at the end, I just kind of, when I load up the sponge, I just like to kind of tap over all of them, you know, just like that. And I'm going to do it again because I'm just crazy like that. I am trying to build this up because I, I just, I don't know. I just want to see how good I can get it, you know. Uh, I'm road testing this as a gradient polish. And so far, I'm pretty impressed. I do like it. I like how well the colors blend. You can see that purple stripe in the middle of the nails. And I really like it. I like it. And... I told you I wasn't going to waste too much of y'all's time with this gradient, but it appears I have told a story. <laughs> but, you know, while you've got your fingers all latexed up and you've got the polishes out, just keep messing with it until you like what you're seeing. And that's what I'm doing here. Really, really do want to get it just right. Okay, I've pulled off that latex. And now I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with my cleanup brush and my acetone. I just like, you know, I like that clean look all the way. I don't want to look at it all funky. Got a little piece of latex being stubborn. We're going to get it off of there, though. And get it under this edge over here. There we go. Fine-tuning that cleanup there. There we go. I love it. Very pretty. I'm going to put some more Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat on here. Get it to dry down again. So we can head into some even more fun stuff. We all like more. And fun. So today I'm going to be using the Beauty Big Bang Black. It's 002. And my Conad Stamper and my Clear Jelly Scraper. And this Beauty Big Bang XL007 plate with all the unicorns on it. I'm just, you know, I don't know what's happened, but here lately I've just been really liking the unicorns. Okay, I've got some extra I'm going to get off of there before I do my stamping. I just love these little images. You know, they got the moons. So I am going to use two images off this plate today, or three, or four, or five, I don't know. At least two. I know that I'm at least going to use two. I might just go crazy and use five. 
Stay tuned, you'll see. But I do love these unicorn images over this gradient. Yeah, I think I've made up my mind. I'm going to just do every nail different. You know why? Because we can. I love these. And I knew when I swatched this plate that I was going to love it. I mean, I bought it for this one image right here, but we all know I had to. And then I fell in love with all of the other images. <laughs> Oh, yay, it fit. I am cleaning up that plate with an acetone and a cotton ball um, in between, you know, or at the end, I will totally clean it up because, you know, now, now that I've reorganized these, they have to get put up super duper clean. And I am still using lint rollers on my stampers to get them clean because you don't want to use acetone on these clear stampers. It'll make them foggy. So here we go. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with my brush. I did try the tape trick. It didn't work so well on this one. But you know, a lot of times, I think it's just what's ever going on with my hands. You know, my fingers, the skin, whether I've got any kind of lotions or on it. Sometimes that tape trick works like a dream, and sometimes it doesn't. And today was a doesn't kind of day. It doesn't do it today. But that's okay. That's why we have our little dampened dish and our cleanup brush. I'm going to try to clean up just a little bit more. Just get in under that nail. So there we go. And now for some Bundle Monster Smudge Free Top Coat. And as soon as this is gone, I promise I will buy another brand um, to give it a try. Just so you don't have to keep hearing me talk about just the same one. I don't know that this is my favorite one. It's the only one I have. And it's working. And now I'm going to use my Posh, and I don't know if you noticed, but that's a brand new bottle. I finally broke down and bought a brand new bottle because I couldn't stand not being able to hardly read the words on it anymore. Because um, I refill mine from a big bottle, but I got tired of looking at that logo being so wiped out. There it is! There's my Manny! I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it down below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.